Good morning, you guys. It's currently 6.39 in the morning. I just woke up so I could do babe's breakfast, lunch, and all the kids' lunch. Back in routine, you guys, to making sure everybody's fed for the day. So let's get the day started. I'm just going to set you guys up and do my thing. I'm not going to really talk to you guys because for one, I'm tired, and for two, I need to get all this stuff done, so... I'm just boiling some eggs and making babe like hard boiled eggs for breakfast and then i'm gonna give him some of this sausage i've been eating this it's like um turkey smoked sausage i wanted to switch it up a little bit because we've been eating a lot of like hard boiled eggs and turkey bacon so yeah i'm gonna be making a couple pieces of sausage for him So that's cooking i'm gonna make my husband like a midday snack with this bread here i'm just gonna toast it okay guys i have strawberry grapes and blueberries that i'm gonna wash really fast just made my husband his little sandwich. I already closed it, but it just has cream cheese and strawberries in there. And then I also cut up all the food I'm going to give to the kids. Here's my husband's lunch. I did pack this up yesterday. It's leftovers from dinner. But it's just some white rice and then it's like a shrimp bowl. And then the top looks kind of weird because I did add some cheese in there. But there's babe's lunch. There's my babe. I'm also going to pack some salsa for his lunch. And this is the one that Patty gave us. Super delicious. And I just have some fruit for him. And then his breakfast. While the eggs are soaking in water, I'm gonna make the cake sandwiches really fast. It's already 7.03, baby needs to sleep in like the next 10 minutes, so I need to hurry up. We're trying to get on a better schedule, cause if it's up to us, we'll be late in the morning, then we're not trying to do that. Okay, Nana, Evan, the boys. I seen a video if you do this on the bread, I mean on the cheese, the bread doesn't get soggy. Like if you put the mayonnaise inside the turkey and the cheese, the bread won't get soggy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. I'm going to try it for them, see if it's true. Well, yeah, that makes sense because it doesn't touch the bread. Yeah, so hopefully they taste better. I like it. It's too early for the bullshit, babe. <laughs> babe, grab yourself a drink and then grab. Can you grab the kids a water, please? Oh, uh, yeah. Babe, these shorts literally have so many holes. Can you see? No. Are those the ones that come from the other day? Yes, but they have like four more. They ripped everywhere. And then look at this. Oh, damn. <laughs> I need to hear our two string. I need to say. Oh, yeah. Damn, man. Yeah. You have color clothes. Man. I know, but these, I love these shorts. They're comfortable. I literally wore them until I couldn't anymore. Mm. 
Okay, guys, here is Nana's, Evans, and then the boys just share it because these breads are like super huge. But I did try putting the mayonnaise in between the cheese and the turkey. So I'm gonna let you guys know if they even notice the difference. The boys probably won't even care, but Nana will. Do I need to hurry? Yeah, huh? No, Nana, we need to hurry. It's probably seven and six. Okay. Seven. I want to leave in like 10 minutes though. Less than 10 minutes. Okay. You have gas in your car? Oh, I have enough. Well, right now, since I don't have no light in the house, it kind of still looks dark. But as far as it being blurry and like bad quality, a million times better. Mm -hmm. You guys, my husband stayed up last night fixing my camera and he did a really freaking good job because we were already on the hunt well not on the hunt but trying to see how much cameras cost so i can get a new one before christmas because my quality has been really driving me nuts and you guys have also noticed it so obviously i'm gonna give out good content for you guys so my husband yesterday he was like i think i could fix it because one thing about my husband you guys he will fix anything and everything before we have to buy a new one <laughs> You've literally fixed our dryer and our washer like 10 times each. Yes. I know my washer's done, you guys hear it in the videos all the time, but he still manages to make it running and that's all that matters. <laughs> okay guys, he took it apart yesterday, I'm going to insert a little video. Is that my lens? <gasps> Dirty. <laughs> that's dirty. So we're currently not we're <laughs> my husband's currently taking apart my camera because if you know you know my quality has been absolute shit for like months now but he was looking at a lot of videos while he was at work today and he told me he was like babe i might be able to fix your camera without having to buy a whole nother one because if you guys seen the prices on these canon g7x's i first bought this camera in like 2020 and it was only like five to six hundred dollars for like the whole kit Tell me why they're going for like a thousand, a thousand, babe. Thirteen hundred dollars, you guys. No, thank you. Regardless, if I need one, I'm gonna have to purchase one. But as of right now, my husband was like, I think I could fix it. So he's taking literally everything apart. And you guys, there was so much sand in there from the lake, the lake from, both times. from both times. Like he was taking it apart, and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you guys i think my husband is most likely gonna get my quality back to like at least like 80 percent huh babe yeah because it went really shitty and it was only getting worse and worse so you guys will see in the next vlog but i'm just so freaking excited but that's pretty much what he was doing yesterday and i'm just so happy because my quality looks so much better and i'm sure with better lighting it'll make a big difference but i need to stop talking because i need to hurry up ask nana for her lunchbox please i need one more for nana Oh wait, this is not us. I'm missing. Oh wait, is that it? Who's am I missing? Oh, I'm missing Evans. Chubbs already lost his lunchbox literally after the first day of school. I guess supposedly his teacher took it away because it was like leaking or something, which I don't freaking know. But he's using one from, I don't even know if that's from last year or just one that we have. But regardless, he's getting lunch. You guys, this is what my counter's looking like in the mornings. There's all of Babe's lunch and then all of the kids. Here are the kids' lunches. This is Elijah. They all each just got their sandwich. And then for the boys, I do cut theirs. A Rice Krispie Treat, water, chips, and then fruit. But this is Chubbs. Literally the same thing. Evans. He got some Doritos. And then Evan does get a full sandwich just because... Him and Nana can obviously eat a little bit more. And then this is Nana's. The same thing, but she did get a Gatorade and a cereal bar with her sandwich. Did you brush your teeth? Okay. Okay. Here is my husband's food. There's his breakfast which is the sausage and egg and then his lunch salsa and then his shrimp bowl we got a bag of fruit for him his cream cheese and strawberry sandwich an apple zero sugar dr pepper and then i'm gonna make him a coffee really really fast okay, guys, i'm all done base lunch packed water coffee and then all the kids bye motherfuckers <laughs> love you i love you 
That one's yours, the black one. Can you do it? You're welcome. Okay, brother. <laughs> they didn't see that. Huh? I said they didn't see that. It's only going to happen. <laughs> Why you the shorts when you have hella shorts on stairs? This is crazy. I don't like how they fit. Alright, go buy whatever you want. I got all your money. No, <laughs> yeah, you do got all my money. Bye, love you. Love Try safe. You. No, no, have a good day. Love you. Okay, love you too. Why are you always gonna mock these kids? Because it's fun. If I don't mock them, love this. Okay, love you guys. Love now that my husband left, I'm gonna do all of these dishes really quick. Just because I made a mess this morning. One thing I don't like is coming back to like a big mess because obviously baby girl's gonna be hungry and I have to get started on like our breakfast. So I'm gonna wash these really quick. I think all the boys are awake, but it's already like 7.20, which is perfect for Rave because he can at least get to Nana school by like 7.40, 7.45. Hopefully. Dad! Yeah. Are you right here? Are your brothers awake? Elijah, no. Elijah, no? Okay, Elijah can, he could stay sleeping for a little bit longer. Okay. Um, but Evan's awake? Yeah. Okay. You want a banana or bread or something? The dishes are done now to run upstairs to make sure all these boys are up and getting ready. What are you doing? Did you brush your teeth? Did you brush your teeth? Okay, before you get on there, brush your teeth and put deodorant on. Don't forget deodorant because you be stinking. Okay, I love you. Made it upstairs. Evan's about to brush his teeth right now and put deodorant on. They're already changed. And one thing about the boys is they know how to dress themselves, so I don't really have to look over their clothes. Obviously last year for Chef they did because he barely was in kindergarten. But now they do a pretty good job at like putting their outfits together. If for any reason they look a little funky, then I'll obviously fix it. But for the most part, they're dressed and good. literally right outside our neighborhood like we can walk there but we're not doing that because we don't got time for that it's currently 7 42 and the boys start in like the next 10 15 minutes how are you feeling about school now feeling better no you think 
another week or two, you'll feel a little bit better. Give me two things that you're grateful for in your life right now. Roof over my head and my for a good family. You're grateful for the roof over your head and a good family? Then think about that, because a lot of kids at your school probably don't have that, okay? So just thank God that you have that, okay? I love you guys. I looked in my math book. It literally showed like five times, like 5,300 something something. For what? In my math book. Like big numbers? Yeah, you gotta start doing harder stuff. So you not liking school should be the least of your worries. Just focus on the schoolwork. And then when you get home, you can have fun and be in your game, you know? You brush your teeth, yeah? Yeah. You put your hand on those armpits? No, it feels a lot, it feels like a longer, like, longer a long, school day? Yeah. Remember, I'm not there watching you at school, but make good choices, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. God's always watching you guys, so behave yourself. Love you guys. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Be good. Good morning. Love you more. Oh, I love you more. Love you more, baby. Chubbs left my door open. Okay, you guys, I just made it home. It's 7.47. It literally just took me five minutes. And before anybody says anything, yes, I have cameras inside, outside my house, everything. And you guys, legally, I know my facts okay so don't play with me play with your mama it really took me like five minutes usually it takes me like two to three minutes if i don't go at the time where like everybody and the mama show up but yeah i'm here at home let's go inside and wake elijah up elijah wake up baby get up get ready for school get ready for school start brushing your teeth okay good morning The baby girl usually is always sleeping. I have to like wake her up in the mornings because she is not a morning person. You guys already know she'll sleep in until like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning sometimes if I let her. I just woke up Elijah. I'm gonna take a quick body shower before I have to wake up baby girl. Okay guys, I just showered. It's currently 7.58. I'm on the phone with babe. He usually calls me every single morning on his way to work and then he settles in for like 30 minutes, an hour. And then he calls me all freaking days, so. Yeah, babe. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Good morning. Good morning, my love. Not stretching. You're stretching? Blanket. You want your blanket? No. You want to take it in the truck? I want to take it. Yeah. You want a little bit of milk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go. Good morning. Look, you want your shoes on? Let's put your cracks on. Yeah. Go. Let's go. <laughs> your hair is me, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful girl. They're at school, baby. Come on. We got to go take Elijah to school. Yeah, come on. Come on, here. Let me hold you real quick. Say good morning, brother. <laughs> yeah. What, your lunch? Yeah. Grab it and then put your shoes on. Oh, good morning. Okay, you ready? You're taking your beer too? Okay. Oh, not me without my shoes on. Well, if it's too bad, babe, we have insurance. Go to the doctor. Yeah, I will. Okay, baby, I love you. Call me later. I will. Love you. Okay, love you more. You guys, my poor husband messed up his back. I want to say for, like, the last week or two, he's been complaining about, like, little, like, aches here and there. But 
what I think what really did it is on Evan's birthday, he was throwing Evan like he was freaking 10 pounds. Evan is a pretty big boy and he's like our heaviest boy at that but yeah guys he was like throwing him all around the pool and i'm like babe your back is already hurting and one thing about him is that he doesn't ever have back pain he doesn't ever really like complain that his back is hurting or like any type of pain you guys like the worst thing that'll happen to him is like a headache but guys even with his headaches he's like oh no i'm fine like he doesn't like to take medicine really but with his back i kept telling him i'm like babe your back is already hurting like you're gonna hurt your back more and he was like no it doesn't hurt blah blah he ended up like really messing up his back and he was like dang is this how back pain feels because he's never had back pain in his life and i tell you guys i hurt more in my back than he ever does and it's always been like that since i met him but i really feel for like my mom who has like back pain every single day of her life and has to live with that because that's probably like top worst five things ever in my opinion my husband thinks he's like invincible because he's like he's not even heavy i'm like yeah he's not heavy for like your strength wise like of course he might be light to you or whatever my husband's back was already hurting like hello get it together but time check you guys it is currently 8 20 we're on our way to drop off elijah he can get to school anywhere from like 8 40 to 8 55 so i try to get there by 8 40 <clears throat> just because if i catch traffic it like ruins my whole freaking morning schedule i didn't even mention i filmed a little tiktok slash youtube short but you guys i tried the pumpkin chobani creamer for the first time and i absolutely love it you guys know i love pumpkin everything and i did see that they had it in stores a few weeks ago but they always have it out of stock and every time i try to order it they either substitute it or like say it's unavailable so yeah i finally got it and i freaking love it if you guys love pumpkin definitely go try it and the ingredients you guys are a lot better than like those other creamers out there so thank me later baby girl she's like a little older lady and she's the cutest ever she's always been like so happy doing her little crosswalk job and she's just so freaking cute she always waves at me like hi in the morning but yeah she's so cute anyways you guys we're here at elijah's school it's currently 8 34 so we're a little bit early but better early than late are you sleeping or what no you can wait in the truck for five minutes okay. it'll open in five be so comfy with your blanket how was her yes mama my baby yeah you're so cute yeah you guys alaya always wakes up in a good mood and i feel like she definitely got that from her daddy because i if i get woken up i'm grumpy okay don't fucking talk to me huh get a little i'm a little grumpy only if they wake me up if i have to wake up earlier and i wake myself up it's different but if i get woken up by the kids i think i get this from my dad I'm like freaking grumpy like who the heck woke me up and who said y'all could be screaming and wake me up out of my sleep But you guys I honestly feel so good being back in routine because it's 8 36 and you guys know me during the summer All the kids were not waking up until like 10 11 Nana would wake up sometimes at 12 1 2 in the afternoon We didn't mind them obviously staying up, but I want to say getting them back into routine has been Easier than I thought I thought they were gonna be way more grumpy. I feel like chubs is like the first one awake which is good because he's usually grumpy if he gets woken up so i'm just glad that he's like the early bird and likes getting himself ready for school and he like gets excited about like his little mornings or whatever but i feel so good you guys waking up at 9 10 in the morning is not it so if you're doing that girl this is your sign to get your ass up make your coffee get your day started because i promise you you feel so much better mentally when you wake up earlier i know it kind of sucks getting in the routine to waking up earlier but once you got it down you guys it's like the best thing ever what i'm trying to say is i don't feel like a bum like when i wake up and i sleep in with Alea, i literally feel like such a bum and obviously yes i would wake up to like do my husband's lunch and stuff but me just going back to sleep even if it was like 30 minutes to an hour i feel like that's what really does it for me and it just starts messing with my mental health and it's not good girl it's 8 40 let's go Bye, baby. I love you.
Love you more. I know, Elijah's going to school, my love. <laughs> you guys, she hates when the boys leave, especially Elijah, because he's like the last one to go to school, so she gets super sad. <laughs> Six, baby girl is requesting cat in the hat that's been her favorite movie lately i put it on for her like last week and ever since then she's been like obsessed but i'm gonna get started on breakfast i think i'm just gonna give her like hard-boiled eggs and a hash brown something really easy and simple because i don't want to be in this kitchen right now okay guys here is breakfast i'm putting patty salsa on my eggs you guys it's so bomb but I'm just eating hard boiled eggs and then turkey bacon. And then same thing for baby girl with a hash brown. Me and baby girl are gonna enjoy some breakfast. And I will catch you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm 